What's up guys? Today is a very special day. Today I'm going to be painting this wall behind me. You guys probably saw in the thumbnail that what it looks like and I just want to give you guys the process of how I did it and uh, the, the supplies I use. Basically everything cost around $100. Uh, let's get, let, let me just show you guys the... Whoa! Chair broke. About these chairs too. These are Herman Miller Aeron B, I think it is. Uh, these are like retail 500 bucks. I got them for $50. So yeah, you guys just, for me, I love finding deals and I love searching around. And if I wanted to, I could sell them for triple the price. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta find those deals. You know what I'm saying? So there are a little bit of imperfections in the wall, as you guys can see, but that's, you guys won't be able to see that after I paint over it with white and you know, all this stuff that'll all be gone. First off, I wanna apologize for the video being very blurry. This footage is just was just too good to pass up and I had to share this with you guys, so I, very, I apologize this will not happen again. So this concept was actually inspired by Jesse from Simple Pickup, for those of you guys know the Simple Pickup guys. He posted on his Instagram a while back and ever since then I've always wanted to do it. Right now I am masking off the base of the wall just so it doesn't the paint doesn't get on the base. What I love about this concept is that it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, however you're feeling that day, however big you want the, the triangles to be, it's, it's all on you. And that's what I love about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You have free range to do whatever you want. I wanted to have the triangles overlap the 90 degree angle, which is super dope if you're looking at it. All right, we got Brucey Poo in the mix. He's gonna help us with the wall. He's just starting on his finishing touches. Yeah, buddy. All right, so we have the whole wall finished now, and we we ran out of tape on the end, so what we're gonna do is you borrow some of that tape once we're finished with this side, and we're gonna use it on that side. And what we're gonna do now is mix the paint, and we have all of the the polygons or triangles marked. So this is gonna be dark, this is gonna be medium, and we have the L for light. So we're gonna get started now, let's do it. So right now we are mixing the paint, the white paint, we're throwing white paint in a five gallon bucket and we're just adding flat black paint as we go. And each, each uh, shade is gonna be darker and darker as we go. So there is light, medium, and dark. Alright, we're gonna start removing the tape. This is like my favorite part is like it looks messy right now, but once you start moving the tape, it's gonna look super dope. So uh maybe it kind of All right, this is the final product. Dude, it came out super dope. And we got a new addition to the to the studio. This, uh, meet Fred. This is Fred right here. And uh, this wall will be covered in all these pictures. Each guest will, have, will be featured on the wall. See, so, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the process of how I did this. And if you guys have any questions, comment down below and I'll try and answer all of them. And flowers will give us input too. Look at this guy. What to do, baby? Yeah. We're uh, probably next video bro should be done. You should give a, a tour, uh, you know, like a tour of yours too, dude. Right now? No, like uh, next video. Next video. Yeah. Yeah, bro. What are you filming again? Uh, uh next time, dude. Just uh, end the video. Let them know. Um, just end like, it. subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.